Ravenstoke, Alaska, where the line between civilization and the wild is barely discernible. Not that anyone here would ever care about that. It's been tough for the men of Ravenstoke. With a population of about 3,000 people, less than 300 are women. So two weeks ago, Ravenstoke elders came together and found their solution. Well, I was hunting and, and watching, uh, you know, a deer leaving a scent uh, to attract a mate. And this is what the, uh, where it came from, the idea came from. Desperate times meant desperate measures. So the men of Ravenstoke agreed on a plan to spray the entire town with scent. I figured if it works on an individual man, right, you know, just uh, work on more people, just spray, spray the town, you know. You know, you spray more and you get more. The campaign involved the entire community, which came together to ensure every nook and cranny of Ravenstoke was covered. The results came quickly. Women, lots of women. Day and night they arrived, a tide of titillation. It's been really good for the community. It's been good because the economy has really increased, the restaurants are doing better, the bars are doing better. It's a great sacrifice for you to uh, put up the girls? No, not really. We're in the wilderness. These women need some place to stay, and they seem to like it here. Not everyone is happy about the town's new inhabitants. Well, they're asking for things I've never sold here before, just, you know, special napkins, scented candles. Baby oil. What would you tell these girls? I tell them to all go home. It's going to get winter up here anyway, and they've got not near enough clothes on. But it looks like they're here to stay. Some works, you go with it. You don't. I mean, you don't. You don't just stop doing that, right? Is that? I mean, that'd be that'd be stupid, right? Has this been good for the people of Ravenstoke? Yeah. The effect was so strong that even four-legged females find it irresistible. And while the men here begin their mating dance, the animals are doing their own special tango. So things are changing in Ravenstoke. The instinct to mate is powerful in both man and beast. Something they're learning here, whether they're ready or not. Chuck Peterson, NNC News, and one small town where spring has definitely sprung.